Welcome back to The Factor on Censored, an update now on a story that stunned the country earlier this year and that we reported about here on The Factor on Censored. The mother of a six-year-old who shot his first grade teacher will be facing consequences. Deja Taylor has been sentenced to two years in prison for child neglect. Investigators say the child got the gun from Taylor's purse, hid it in his backpack, and took it to the web took the weapon to school where he shot and injured his teacher, Abby Zwerner. Digging deeper, is there a problem with our young black boys being angry and taking it to school? Joining us to talk about it tonight is therapist Dr. Bernadette Smith. First of all, a parent's culpability in this situation, if they allow their child to get a gun, should they be held responsible criminally like we're seeing here? I mean, at the end of the day, we're responsible for our children. And so in that particular instance, that child was so young, that then becomes the parent's responsibility to ensure safeguards. That gun should not have been in a place to where that child could easily have access to it. Um, you know, I'm not a lawyer, so I can't speak mm -hmm. on, you know, on it to that degree. Uh, but you're speaking common but, sense. But it's un the whole thing is unfortunate in general. Mm -hmm. You know, I understand... Um, wanting to f have gun in your house to feel safe, but then if you know you have small children and they're not, um, you haven't taught them gun safety or something, you need to be able to be smart about that. Now, this student has had a history, according to reports that we've seen, being angry with the teacher. The teacher mm -hmm. was even afraid of him. And so when you have individuals or, or kids who have that kind of anger, how can we deal with it, especially black males? Yeah. Because there's, you know, they're, they're, in some instances, their parents are not taking them to counselors yeah. to deal with it. Yeah. And so they don't know where to channel that energy other than something like this. So I love what you're saying, right? Channeling that energy. Now, one of the things that we've noticed in, in our practice is we as a community are starting to actually seek out therapy. Right. So that stigma in terms of, oh, therapy isn't for us, that's starting to change. And we're specifically seeking out people who look like us to provide that mental health support. So fortunately that's changing, but there's still a lot that still needs to be done in that realm for people to feel comfortable to seek out that support and know the tools and resources. So being able to recognize, one, anger is a root emotion, mm -hmm. right? There's nothing wrong with anger. It's how do we then express that? And oftentimes what happens is anger, especially in men and especially in young black men, I saw this all the time when I was working in higher ed, it gets misdiagnosed um, because sometimes... So what do they call it? Mm, What's your preferred have, terminology for it? And what do you consider it? I remember I had referred somebody for a psychiatric evaluation. I was like, oh, you know, maybe we need some more support that might require some medication. Um, they were diagnosed with bipolar disorder um, when the, in reality they were suffering from depression. Mm -hmm. And so one of the indicators with bipolar disorder is have you um, had a drastic changes in moods? Are you ex experiencing a lot of, you know, bouts of anger, et cetera? And again, especially among black men, they're often not allowed the ability to have a full range of emotion. So how, if you don't know how to express feelings of rejection, feelings of sadness, it sometimes comes out as anger. And really quick before we wrap up, what would you tell parents out there of young black boys if they see someone who's very angry and they're concerned about mm -hmm. it and they're frightened about it, what should they do? Love on your babies, but then get support. Get support, get support, get support. Advocate for your baby. Advocate for your baby. If one professional doesn't give you the support, go to the next one, go to the next one. It can be a lot of work, it can be daunting, but don't give up trying to find support because you will find somebody that's going to hear you and help that help you best in that situation. All right, Dr. Bernadette Smith, thank you for joining us.